Give me because this is evidence presented to me by your colleagues. But I'm led to believe you started your working life at uh, Peacock's Locomotive Builders yeah. back in August 1944, yeah. where you were an apprentice fitter. And you worked there until you were called up to join the RAF yeah. in 1951, where you became leading aircraftsman, Yule, the League. You, Liverpool University Air Squadron yeah. as an airframe fitter, <coughs> airframe mechanics. Working on Gloucester Meteor Jets. Yeah. Travelled around a little bit. Yeah. Finally resumed work in Civvy Street June 1953. Went back to Peacocks, where you worked until they closed. Right. Then you started your 30 year stretch with the then named Merlees National. Yeah. I can now tell you that after 27 years, 9 months and 3 days, you've been granted remission. You came back to you, you started work at Merlees doing hard labour on the night shift on engine build. And after about 7 years, they granted you parole and let you out on service. Where you did um, tours of duty in Jordan, Somalia, and USA, Belgium, Holland, Pharaohs, amongst others. Yeah. Yeah. Never actually escaped though, did you? Because no. you came back here, back into the works in the mid 70s to continue your bird. I'm talking of bird, one or two tales of your service experiences have been brought to my attention. <laughs> Cast your mind back to a public house in Avonmouth. I believe it was called the Miles Arms. <laughs> Otherwise, no <laughs> I wasn't there. <laughs> Otherwise known as the Snake Pit. Word has it a house of ill repute. Certainly. <laughs> Reg and his cohorts acquired the uh, collective name the Seven Dwarfs. Guess which one he was? <laughs> Mr. Bashful. The reason for that was that everyone grew a beard. It was very cold weather. That was the reason for it. Yeah, talking about the cold weather, it's. Uh, it's rumoured that Bashful was also found in another establishment of a lunchtime called the Riverside Strip Club. <laughs> Making some excuse about having his glasses steam clean. <laughs> anyway, Reg came back to work as a fitter and his record would appear to be fairly innocuous except for some dubious tale about inventing a one and a half inch BSF reamer. Which for those people who don't understand, it's <laughs> true in the toilet. <laughs> it's what you get when you apply power feed whilst tapping on a drilling machine. My, it was Keith Smith that told me to do it like that. <laughs> he couldn't have been all that bad because in 1981 he was duly promoted to charge hand, strip. I hope it's got nothing to do with his service reputation. <laughs> 1985, appointed packing shop foreman. So, congrats. So, Reg, 27 years, nine months, three days. Well, now very, what? Done very quickly, though. Nothing no more bad. panics. No. no more parts into cases. True. Engines onto vehicles. Get them onto vessels. No more shortage lists. Shrink wrapping, sucking and sealing, and all the other paraphernalia of packing department. No more tickings off, I have to control oh, my language, oh no. little lady friend. Oh no. For rusty parts, broken cases, missing widgets, lost paperwork, you can all confine it to your memories. What about the future, Reg? I believe your uh, activities you're having up your lining up are a bit spot of fishing. Yes, That's fine. a bit of photography. Yeah. Potting around in the garden. Yeah. No, forget it. <laughs> I think somebody else not far away has other ideas. Lots of DIY, fixing this, spending that, doing the other. It's Reg, put the word around. I asked for a few. What? How would you sum up Reg? You one-liners, various people. The sort of response I got was, Reg, big heart, big hearted, 
generous to a fault, nothing too much trouble. Absolute past master at changing the subject, avoiding the issue, whose motto is, if in trouble, keep on talking. <laughs> Seriously, totally dependable, salt of the earth, true good guy. Reg has been defendable, been conscientious, been reliable. He's done a very good job for Merleys. The packing department's a sharp end of the business. It's where everything stops. The next stop's the customer. And if it's not right down here, or if it's late, everybody's in trouble. Everybody's efforts up to this stage have depended on Reg getting it out the door. And he's done a very, very good job. And we will miss him. So, just one final comment. You've been through all the troubles of packing shop. So when you've taken it away and in five or six years' time, when you're thinking back, just console yourself with one thought. All the anguish, hassle and trouble you've had, it will probably never have changed, it will still be the same way. Summing up, your colleagues all clubbed together. They made a collection to buy you this gift, to remember the bag. And I would like, on behalf of all your friends and colleagues at Burleys, to wish you and your wife, Sylvia, a very long and happy retirement together. Thank you very much. Well, I'd like to thank John for his kind words and research into my life history. Thanks also to my friends and workmates for being here today. I really appreciate and thank you for the retirement present. As my old telly has just broke in the bedroom, so it's quite handy at this. I have worked at Merlees happily for 27 years and have made many friends in various departments. And I hope I will still see you from time to time. As you know, I have worked abroad for the company and one of my most frightening experiences was sleeping for a night in a single bed with Ian Huff. <laughs> I would, I, would like, I would like to thank the person who sent me a pair of sexy underpants. I don't know who it is, but it, I've got a funny feeling it might be Beryl. <laughs> also the same person sent an application in, an application form, for a male model working for the Trojan Condom Company, and you can read the reply I've got, <laughs> which is there. <laughs> so I want to read it, pass it round. <laughs> Finally, I would like to thank you all the staff in the packing department for the effort over the years in never missing a sailing day. There is food and drink laid on upstairs, so please help yourselves and thank you all once again for coming today.